Coraline has gained a cult following since the 2009 release of the stop-motion animated film. Van Passion has spawned several theories so detailed they make the movie's story seem even more terrifying. Based on Neil Gaiman's novella of the same name, Coraline is the story of a lonely girl's journey into a dangerous world uncannily similar to her own. As she battles with evil forces, hellbent on keeping her there, Coraline must find the confidence within herself to defeat her very personal demons. The Coraline filmmakers made several changes to the source material, altering the characters, the setting, and even the plot. The team also added a crucial main character, Webborn Webby Lovett, to make the story their own. Director Henry Selleck ensured the world of Coraline would have seemingly infinite layers, providing fans with room to speculate, which they had done for years. In today's video, we will be sharing five of the most frightening Coraline fan theories. But before continuing further, kindly hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon, so you never miss any update from us. Let's continue with our video. Number 1. Why Mr. Bobinski is Blue Mr. Bobinski is Coraline's unusual Russian neighbor with a circus of performing mice. Apart from his offbeat nature, exceptional height and beat-based diet, Bobinski also stands out for his blue skin. It might seem as though the character's unusual hue may have been a simple creative decision. Upon closer inspection, viewers may notice Bobinski wearing a medal on his chest that reads 4 a 3 c The medal was awarded for service following the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster. It is also adorned with three droplets of blood, possibly indicating the level of radiation to which he was subjected. Fans wonder whether his involvement in Chernobyl might be the real reason for Bobinski's blue skin. Number 2. The Beldum had a son. The backstory of the Beldum, Coraline's demonic, shape-shifting villain, is a mystery. Viewers are no closer to understanding who she really is at the end of the film than they were at the beginning. Fans have attempted to figure out how she came to live in the Pink Palace and why she only preys on children. A simple answer might be that children are easier to manipulate, while adults would are better able to see through the Beldum's deceptions. Yet some fans wonder if there is more to the Beldum than meets the eye. The painting of the boring blue boy in Coraline isn't simply a reference to Thomas Gainsborough's famed portrait, The Blue Boy. Instead, the theory goes, it's a depiction of the Beldum's dead son. That would mean the Beldum was a resident of the Pink Palace at one point, living there with her child before his death. The Beldum may hunt children in an attempt to recapture the son she lost. That might explain why the boring blue boy is suddenly made to appear happy in the other world. Number 3. Miss Spink and Miss Forcible knew about the lost children. Miss Spink and Miss Forcible are longtime fixtures at the Pink Palace apartments. The aging actresses, along with their barrage of dogs, both living and deceased, serve as unlikely advisors to Coraline. They even give her their looking stone, which allows Coraline to find the eyes of the ghost children. But how do they know to provide that critical item? Perhaps it's because they have seen it all happen before. YouTuber The Fandral speculated that each date on their taffy jars corresponds to a year that a child went missing. When Coraline meets the ghost children in the other world, each child's style of dress seems to match one of the three dates that label the taffy. That is why Coraline's own jar of taffy didn't yet have a date. Number 4. The Beldum won. The most disturbing fan theory involves speculation the Beldum actually won in the end, leaving Coraline trapped in the other world. Theorists point to the final shot of the garden, which so closely resembles its counterpart in the other world. Coraline also sees her parents in a mirror in the real Pink Palace, while they are trapped in their snow globe. Would the Beldum really be able to conjure such an image outside the other world? It's also strange that such a dark film could end so happily, with every loose end tied up. Cat's disappearance from the Pink Palace sign shows that magic still exists. Number 5. What's with all the bugs? Okay, the Coraline bug theory isn't so much a theory as it is a fascinating and creepy examination of the movie's bug motive. The Leica Studios film is, quite literally, crawling with dragonflies, beetles, mosquitoes, praying mantises, and his spiders, among other six, and eight-legged creatures. YouTuber Karsten Runquist coined the term Coraline Bug Theory in his popular 2021 video, but it owes much to an essay written more than a decade earlier by cultural entomologist Emmett Brady. In short, Coraline's countless creepy crawl eyes aren't there simply to give audiences shivers. They're rooted in folk beliefs. Dragonflies are also known as the devil's darning needles. And in the film's themes, the lore of Coraline has been significantly expanded by its fandom. Although none of these theories are technically canon, they are undeniably intriguing and chilling. We hope that you have enjoyed our video. Kindly give it a thumbs up 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from us. Thanks for watching till end.